Sometimes in AutoCAD, we need to make an existing object shorter or longer. Sometimes it's one or it's multiple objects. They need to be stretched. To do this in AutoCAD, we can use the stretch command. Let's open up an example file. Let's look at the stretch examples drawing file. Here I have a line, an oval, and then a little bracket. So to start the stretch command, type in the word stretch. Or you can just type in the letter S for stretch. You can also find the stretch command here on the Home tab, on the Modify panel, on your ribbon. Now what you do with the stretch command is that you need to essentially move the vertices of an object. So you start off by selecting with the crossing window an object, press Enter, pick your base point, and then pick a displacement point. So you can see here I made the object shorter or I can make it longer. Now the stretch command essentially is moving the vertices of an object. That means that if you select an object by picking it, or if the object is completely enclosed in your crossing window selection, then the entire object will move. So if I start the stretch command, and I select the entire line, press enter, pick my base point, my whole line is being stretched. Now my ortho command was on there, so it's locking the stretch to a vertical and horizontal direction. But if I turn it off, start the stretch command, select my objects, pick my base point, you can see here that I'm stretching it in all sorts of different directions. So you can use the stretch command as a kind of rotate. You can use it to move an object. You can use it for a lot of different things. Now, selecting objects to be stretched can be quite tricky because of how the command works. Now, most editing commands need you to pick the entire object, so it's easy to get your selection right. But in the stretch command, it's not so easy because you're really moving the vertices. And the vertices could be an endpoint, a midpoint, point of intersection, center point of a circle or arc, etc. So you're moving those vertices points, not necessarily the object itself. So let me show you what happens when you stretch this object here. I'm going to pick these objects here, and you can see as I move my crossing selection window over, the objects I'm selecting become highlighted. So I crossed through and picked up this arc, these two lines, and this circle. I'm going to turn my ortho command back on. I right click, and I pick my displacement point, and now I stretch. See, that's really cool. That's really hard to do in board drafting, and this is another tool that AutoCAD is superior to than a board drawing. So you note that when I started my stretch command, this is what I selected. And I only moved the vertices of the endpoints for this line, for this arc, same here. I also grabbed the center point, or this entire circle and this entire arc. So all of these objects are moving together or being stretched together relative to each other. And if I were to keep going, it would give me an object that looked like that. Undo this, put it back together. Now I can select these objects, and then I can unselect an object from my set. If I hold down the Shift key, and I select that circle, it's removed from my selection set. So I right click, pick my base point, and now I can move this end of this bracket, offset it from this hole that's going to be there. I can do the same thing here. Stretch that. I can just stretch the bottom part of it. And that allows you to make that little cutout larger and in a different position. One last thing I want to go over with the stretch command. There are some objects that can't be stretched, such as circles. If I try to stretch this circle, all it's going to do is move it. And that's only if I grab the center point, which you can't really see there. That's because a circle really doesn't have any vertice points. It does have these quadrant grips, but you move it from the center of the circle. So keep that in mind. Another object is an ellipse, which is what I have right here. That's because its properties are almost identical to that of a circle, as you can see here. So just keep those things in mind. I can change the circle if you do need to sort of stretch it through grips. 
grab the point and kind of stretch it that way. A circle works the same way. So if I need to make the circle a little bigger, I can do that through the grips, but not the stretch command. 